Hello and welcome back to the penultimate episode of The Benz Run here at Pop Culture Reacts as we're working our way through Radiohead's The Benz. And we are on track 11. 11. And Football team. Salk. So obviously this isn't about the Hulk, I'm going to guess. Yeah. No, no, Bad it really... Yeah, it, it really isn't um, about the Hulk. Um, did this, we shall see at the end of this, but this this one's quite an interesting one for, for me because um, it, it, it technically follows some similar lines to some other songs we've uh, listened to by another band, um, but I think does it in a, a very different way. But that's all I'll go with for now. Um, we'll see because because i am quite interested with intrigue well the thing is, is i'm not convinced that 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 what it is about and for and talking about will come across whereas i think when we get to what it's about and what it's for and i think you'll pick up straight away kind of the connectivity i i think um uh the other tracks we've done that are kind of like this are much more on the nose but anyway there's the intrigue yeah let's uh let's jump in See what the hell you think of it, what you get out of it, and then, and then we'll kind of talk about what it's actually about. But yeah, right, let's, let's go. Just so 
Sulk. What do you reckon? He's a Sulk little bitch, isn't he? Clearly, you know, mummy doesn't like him sulking. So I, that's the, to me, lyrically, that is very much the sort of parent moaning about their, their kid not getting up, going out, doing something. And then, obviously, you know, the whole just like your dad bit um, is where I got on that lyrically. Um, musically, I like that. There's that dirty guitar tone. Yeah, that he uses in there is yeah, it's nice and horribly it? nice. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those of it's a horrible sort of reverb on there, but it's really nice in that sort of way of you know liking quite angular sounds. Um, yeah, kind of jarring in its beauty, isn't it? Like yeah. um, you said, gritty, dirty, um, but melodic all at the same time. Um, uh, yeah, and I think it kind of throws you off as as the listener to, of it to kind of go, I'm enjoying this whilst being disquieted and discomforted by it. Yeah, and as someone that listens to some really dirty, horrible black metal, he does. I can confirm this. There is, there is, you know, that sort of horrible sounding music is actually you know quite in my wheelhouse. There's an <laughs> so art, to it, it isn't there? There's yeah. an art to kind of. Um, uh, getting that balance right so that it is still enjoyable whilst being not enjoyable. Uh, probably better words for that. I failed miserably, but but you know, like that that kind of finding that juxtaposition of of of, of beauty in despair or beauty in 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 the face of um, uh, something not traditionally beautiful. Yeah, and I mean, it's because. Because so much of this song is of its time in me to then have that juxtaposition in there, just especially because of how I read the subject matter, it, again, being very much about, you know, depression and being yeah. sort of shamed for not wanting to, you know, leave your room. And as they you know, they put it, you're just having a sulk instead of, you know, actually there's something major going on. It just gives that a little bit more weight to, to what the lyrics are doing as well. Well, it, it's, it's quite hard because uh, when you sort of say about sulk and, and the term called um, sulk, and you know, it's a bit unfair because I do kind of know, or, or certainly what was said it was about. And I think things obviously change over time because um, it's one of the critiques I'd throw at it is... Um, uh, sulk <laughs> feels a little bit too twee for me for where they're actually um, going for here. So, um, like Tom York wrote this as um, a response to the Hungerford Massacre, um, and where I said it has some links to other tracks that we've done with other bands. So, um, quite often in Ramstein, doesn't it? They, they will touch on subjects of um, killers, killings. Um, the more unpleasant side of life and mm. I think this does it in a massively different way so it's rather than telling kind of the story of the Hungerford Massacre so some of the stuff that's covered in the lyrics are, um, are very much spot on with with, with uh, a, a events that happened pre I guess the, the, the Hungerford Massacre so it's not kind of fixating necessarily on that but um, the mind, the earlier mind state um um, that's there and, and again I, I think it's quite interesting because i guess we've seen now a couple of ways of doing it like the more um the more oblique i'd say in this case kind of it's not going it, it's not telling the story of the massacre but i think it's yeah. trying to lay out there um this can be someone's life experience and in the world where this was someone's life experience um, the way they were treated or the way that they felt they were treated by the world. Um, these are kind of the repercussions that can happen with that. Yeah, and unlike where Ramstein will just, you know, tell you all the, the details of yeah, and, and you, you got up to. <laughs> you, you know, for my side, like, um, and mixed successes on that, I think for, for me, when we've covered the songs that, that cover subject matters like this, sometimes it's been a huge win for me. Um, and other times... 
I've not connected so well with the idea of it just being laid out there in, in the medium of song. And I think I lean a bit more into kind of this this way of doing it, the the the, the raising awareness of po probably the root causes rather than what actually happened. The event, yeah. And, and 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 to be fair, we say the root causes. You know, a lot of this is built off of, I think, what was reported about him. Um, rather than like anyone from the band knowing them so you know it is based off of i'm going to say speculation to a degree um but um yeah i quite like that as a way of i don't know leaning into bad shit happens and these 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 are the paths to that bad shit sometimes yeah is it i wouldn't have got from this that it was a, a based on or relative and, to any and i'll be 100 percent honest no neither, neither would i back in the day when i heard it it was only because like i i liked the song i was interested so i kind of I, and it was at a time when magazines were a thing um and you didn't go to the internet and like i remember reading kind of interviews and things like that and um and funny enough they don't play it it's rarely played live this um and i don't necessarily think it's so they rarely play creep live and i think they rarely play creep live because you know I think their opinion on creep has somewhat changed over the years, but I, I think, you know, like some of the stuff that they talk about it, it, in this album um, is, is why you don't get them to play creep much. And, and, you know, I said, there are some songs that I think it, latterly in the years, like the band aren't such a fan of. I, I, I don't know. I can't remember if I've ever seen this specifically in an interview, but I feel like the subject matter is probably why they lean away from it. As in, it's a song we wanted to do. It's something we wanted to talk about but we probably don't want to belt it out to every single concert. Yeah. And and, and actually, well, funny enough, um, it had a, it had a lyric change. Um, so in fact, let me just, uh, get it to make sure. Um, yeah. So, uh, when they were originally putting it together, um, the song was going to end with just shoot your gun. But, but when they actually released it and it wasn't even, you're a number of years removed from the Hungerford Massacre at this point, but um, it wasn't that removed from um, the Kurt Cobain um, shooting himself. And I think yeah. they kind of took that decision of going, no, that's a bit too raw and fresh, and we kind of don't want to throw that into a song right now. Yeah, and I guess it would have... It could have fit for if they were writing a song about Kurt, you know. Well, and I think that well. was also part of it, not just but, the rawness, yeah. but, but, but making people not think because it's not on. a song about him yeah 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 uh so as always youtube things like screaming bells comments down there that was easy and what is our leaving point of the bends so our final track on the bends is street spirit open bracket fade out close bracket we need more albums with brackets in it i'm enjoying adding the brackets <laughs> in when we do the song titles <laughs> Oh, I, I could probably find lots of stuff from the mid noughties emo revival of weird song titles that make yep. no sense with lots of brackets and bracket me up, bad boy. <laughs> find down there any songs with random brackets. Your make... favorite song with a bracket in the title. That's what I want from you. <laughs> so until next time. Goodbye.